Hi everybody, my name is Silvia Mihilescu and I'm based in Bucharest, Romania. Now, Mr. Laza asked me to come and have a blog post on his famous and glamorous blog. So, first of all, I had to find a topic and then I had to find a bit of a glamorous decor. And because he loves scarves, uh, I decided to challenge him a bit and give me a couple of scarves that, that I love to wear. So what is more glamorous than scarves and what can be very glamorous for a blog? I thought about talking about video blogs because I'm quite passionate about uh, videos and sharing information and, and people via videos. So I thought why not talking about this? I use it in my work, I use them in, in, my, in my private time. So why not using them instead of writing on my blog? So I have like five tips on creating a good blog post especially on a, creating a good video blog post. So first of all, think about the length. I think it's a common mistake that people tend to get a bit carried away when creating blog posts as videos. So think about that they need to be short. There is a reason why trailers are usually around two minutes. So I know you may want to go to three or four, but really you don't have to go over five minutes. People will get bored to see only one person, even if the topic is brilliant. Advice number two, again back to movie trailers. What is so great about them is that they are not revealing everything. So if you have a blog and you want to talk about a certain topic, don't cover everything. Give people hints and nudge them to search on certain discussions or information that you think it will be relevant to them. Give them the desire to, to want to learn more. Advice number three, again, don't use too much animation. I know I may have a bit exaggerated with the background, but really you don't have to bring in all kind of transitions, all kind of titles, all kind of colors around. Try to make it less disturbing for, for, your, uh, for the person watching you. And remember, if they watch you in, your, in a YouTube size window, you may want to make sure that that small window stays very clean all the time. Invite people over. I think like a good short video post it will allow you to get people to chat with in front of the camera. So if you have friends over and you're into a deep discussion, get them to maybe share one, one minute with, with their opinion. Get them in your video. So, last advice. Advice number five. I know there are more, but I usually stick to five tips. Don't try to make it look like an agency work. We have so many good cameras today. Don't really overreact on, on having a very clean look or having, you know, that moves that people have on TV when they're presenting the news, it will make it look a bit artificial. Now, I know you need to have a good quality, video and audio, so make sure there are no slamming doors and no disturbing background noise because in the end, if you're not a magician, you may not be able to remove that with your uh, video editing software. So, get a good software. Uh, try something that's free online maybe, stick to your story and try to bring it in a shorter format for your guests who are able to click that button and watch you sharing your thoughts. So I hope this was a first and interesting post on the glamorous uh, blog Mr. Khalid has and I hope I'll see more posts even from him like this. Have a nice day!